Good morning and welcome to worship, everyone. Wonderful to see you here in the parking lot and to everyone online. Great to see you this morning. A couple of quick announcements for you. Obviously, we are back outside here after being inside for one week uh, due to the um, spikes uh, of cases in our county. Um, the council made the uh, difficult decision to move back outside and we'll be back out here for the rest of the month. We have also suspended all activities uh, for the time being. Um, uh, and so just keep looking at the Facebook page and the website um, and your Trinity Tidings email and uh, we'll continue to give you updates on how things go as the situation continues to change. Today we are presenting Bibles uh, for our pre-K and third grade youth. I don't believe any are here today, but we are going to list their names. So if you're watching at home and you hear the name of your child, uh, we have a Bible for them. Or if you don't hear the name of your child, we will have a Bible for them. Just let us uh, know. The high school uh, mission trip has been moved from next Sunday to Sunday, November 1st at 10 o'clock, just so you know. Um, also, Confirmation Sunday is the last Sunday of the month. Confirmation is going to happen during three times that day, 8, 45, 9, 30, and 10, 15. We are not going to be having parking lot worship like we would normally do. And we are not, um, uh, we're not having regular church members outside of confirmation students and their families in the service, uh, inside for the services. So we invite you to watch those confirmation services online. Um, I believe I leave, that is going to be all of our announcements for you here uh, this uh, morning. If you need a bulletin, you're following us online, you can go to the website trinityboysfield.com and you'll find that bulletin there on the front page. Let us sing our first hymn, Be Thou My Vision. our service with our dialogue. Since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through Christ. And we boast in our hope of sharing God's glory. We know that suffering produces endurance, character, and hope. And hope does not disappoint us. God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit. For we stand in the grace of God which has been given to us. Let us pray together the prayer of the day. Lord of the feast, you have prepared a table before all peoples and poured out your life with abundance. Call us again to your banquet. Strengthen us by what is honorable, just, and pure, and transform us into a people of righteousness and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. So I just wanted to announce the people who, uh, the youth who are receiving Bibles uh, this morning. Um, again, I don't believe any of them are here today, which I understand since we're now back outside. Um, and, uh, and when I do, if I do uh, say your child's name, um, and uh, we will have the Bibles here uh, for you to pick up whenever you'd like. I want to thank Deb Holland, who did the um, calligraphy on the Bibles, and to the uh, Youth Fund for purchasing the Bibles. So for our Stark Storybook Bible, uh, Dominic Harvey will be receiving a Bible this year. And for our Brown Spark Study Bibles, we have Tucker Lindstrom, Owen Christofferson, Granger Romhild, Brady Larson, Abella Leach, Aidan Feeney, Tyler Sudbrink, and Noah Bond. 
So they will be receiving Bibles as well. Again, if you have a child that is in pre-K or K or a child in third grade and we did not, you did not hear your name and you would like a Bible, please let me know and we will get you one. All right, we'll continue our service with our scripture readings. The first is the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Our gospel reading comes from the 22nd chapter of Matthew, beginning with the first verse. Once more, Jesus spoke to them in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who gave a wedding banquet for his son. He sent his slaves to call those who had been invited to the wedding banquet, but they would not come. Again, he sent other slaves, saying, Tell those who have been invited, Look, I have prepared my dinner. My oxen and my fat calves have been slaughtered. Everything is ready. Come to the wedding banquet. But they made light of it and went away, one to his farm and out to his business, while the rest seized his slaves, mistreated them, and killed them. The king was enraged. He sent his troops, destroyed those murderers, and burned their city. Then he said to his slaves, The wedding is ready, but those invited were not worthy. Go, therefore, into the main streets, and invite everyone you find to the wedding banquet. Those slaves went out into the streets and gathered all whom they found, both good and bad. So the wedding hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to see the guests, he noticed a man there who was not wearing a wedding robe. And he said to him, Friend, how did you get in here without a wedding robe? And he was speechless. The king said to the attendants, bind him hand and foot and throw him into the outer darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen. This is the gospel of our Lord. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ. Amen. You know, one of the things we like to use when we talk about life as an image is life as a journey or a path. Like I think about my, one of my favorite things of all time, starting back up this Tuesday, The Bachelorette is back. I love The Bachelor franchise. We've talked about it before. I am not ashamed. And they always talk about their search for their spouse. They always talk about the journey of love. I'm on a journey of love. Even my beloved and the best thing ever created outside of bacon, Star Wars, uses the path as an image, the Jedi path. I even wrote a whole like Bible study that was supposed to be used at the National Youth Gathering talking about walking the Jedi path, uh, uh, using that imagery to talk about our path as Christians. But this, this image of a path makes a lot of sense in life, right? Life is filled with ups and downs, twists and turns. You meet and see interesting and different things and you sometimes you don't expect, just like life. Just like if you're walking in the woods. The path isn't always straight. The path isn't always wide. Sometimes it's narrow, curves with things in the way. And speaking of favorite things outside of the Bachelor franchise and Star Wars, is today we have my favorite verse in the entire Bible, Psalm 23. And really here we are on a journey, if you will, with the psalmist. The psalmist is being guided by a shepherd. And at first, the first thing we get is the shepherd guides the psalmist to a green meadow with still waters, peaceful, calm, serene, content. It's the kind of imagery you might get if you were doing meditation or for some of us who have done spiritual direction in our lives. They, when they want to focus you, they often ask you to picture a place of calmness and sereneness, a place like a meadow still with grass. And then we get to our next scene and the psalmist finds himself in a valley, but not just any valley, the valley of the shadow of death, a place that is supposed to be scary and frightening and hard. And yet in the midst of this valley of darkness and death, the psalmist finds comfort because the shepherd is there the shepherd is there with him. Even more so, the shepherd gives tools for the psalmist to survive, to have comfort, 
a rod and a staff. And then the scene shifts again to a table, to a banquet, to a bounty, where there is much to be given, where there is a sense of overwhelming blessing and then ending on this vision that the journey continues with hope. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The reason that this scripture has always been my favorite is because there are times in my life and my journey that each portion of this psalm means something. Those times when I'm feeling anxious and worrisome, which is a lot right now. I yearn for that still meadow, those calm waters, those times when I've dealt with death in my life, whether I'm walking with people as their life ends or whether I'm experiencing the valley of the shadow of death in my personal life, the fact that the shepherd is there comforting me has given me hope. Those times when I feel grateful for the blessings of life, I think about the overflowing cup that is in front of me has been handed to me a cup that is overflowing with the grace and mercy of Jesus Christ. And then finally, that vision of hope for the future, that goodness and mercy are part of our future, and that dwelling with the Lord forever in eternal life is at the end. That no matter how difficult the journey gets, no matter the twists and turns and mistakes that are made, the wrong directions taken, the deep valleys or the obstacles that are in the way, we have this hope in Christ, our great shepherd, our great shepherd who guides us in life, our great shepherd who loves us, our great shepherd who sacrifices so that we would have eternal life, gives his life for ours, gives his life for you. The Lord is our shepherd who guides us on the paths and journey that we call life. Maybe today there's a piece of this scripture that means a lot to you. Maybe today there is a piece of this scripture that you needed to hear. What I hope most especially is that you will always hear and remember that your great shepherd walks with you in the journey of life. He brings you to meadows and still waters. He's there in the shadow of death. He is there overflowing your cup. And he is there with you always and forever. For that we can say thanks be to God. Amen. We are a church together. And so let us turn in our bulletins together as we confess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray for the whole people of God in Christ Jesus and for all people according to their need. Loving Lord, you walk with us on our paths of life. In the valleys, in the meadows, in the good and the bad, you are there. Help us to always know that you are there for us. And we thank you for the salvation you have given us in Jesus Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Loving God, we ask that you be with those who are hurting this day in body, mind, and spirit. Be with all those who are dealing with cancer and other diseases, those battling the coronavirus those who deal with addiction and depression, those who every day is a challenge. We ask, Lord, that you would give healing, that you would give hope, and that you would make your presence known to all who suffer. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Loving God, we give thanks for the ministry you have given us and for this thing we, that is called the church, which is not a building, but a collection 
of people who follow you. Bless us in our mission to help our neighbors. Bless us in our mission to proclaim your word. Bless us in our mission to be people of light and hope in the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, we give thanks for the gift of your word. We give thanks for the gifts of these Bibles. We ask that you would help us to turn to your word every day as it gives us hope, guidance, and helps us keep us, and helps to keep us on right paths. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, we ask that you watch over our youth and bless them. We ask that you bless our schools, our teachers and students. Bless our Sunday school and youth programs and ask that you would continue to guide us, that we might still be people that always proclaim your love to those who most need it. And that most especially, that we would love children for who they are and always remind them that they are gifts from you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, so often we find ourselves in the shadow of death. Be with those who are mourning the loss of loved ones today. Shower them with your comfort and your mercy and remind us of the promise of eternal life where we'll reside with you forever. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Into your hands, gracious God, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also, and also with, with you. you. I invite you at this time, if you're watching online, to share uh, the peace in however way you wish. And in your cards, I invite you to wave to each other. And then, of course, let us have our God's peace honk. I like Perry's got his... Uh, he's, as the ushers go around for the offering here, I like Perry was uh, using, his, uh, using his key fob to make his car honk from afar. Um, so uh, again, if you'd like to support Trinity's ministry, we do really appreciate your uh, financial gifts, which keep us going. Um, you can give uh, on the website, trinityboysville.com, through the forum there. You can download the Gift Plus app and uh, search for Trinity Lutheran Boysville and uh, do that. Or you can send it in the mail to P.O. Box 247, Boysville, Wisconsin, 54725. A couple of quick announcements, reminders from my confirmation students. Um, eighth graders, you'll be online this week, and so you'll be uh, 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 visiting us there. Um, so please check us out uh, there. Um, and then a reminder uh, as well, um, again, if uh, your youth uh, was supposed to receive a Bible today um, and we didn't say your name, please let me know and we will make that happen. Um, I'm sure there are some comments about the fact that I'm wearing a bear's coat today. The reason I'm wearing a bear's coat is because I actually don't own a winter coat. Um, uh, I'm hoping to get a brand new one. Uh, one of the reasons for that is because my old winter coat is like now three times the size of my body. Um, but um, I will like to comment that the bears are four and one. Um, and uh, again, uh, the luckiest team in football. Um, I expect us to end the season um, four and 12, if you want to know where I think about that. So I was very excited on Thursday. It was nice to have him. As, 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 as the ushers come around, everybody okay? All right. We continue our service by praying the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now receive God's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. We conclude with precious Lord, take my hand.
appreciate you again for joining us today. Let us have a thanks be to God honk before we leave this morning. Thanks to everybody joining us online. Everyone, please be safe as you uh, and make sure you check your back and side mirrors before backing out. We'll see you next week. God bless.